Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you the first things I recommend doing after setting up your Honor X8C. The first thing is connecting to Wi-Fi if you haven't done that yet. So I'm gonna click on the settings, then go to Wi-Fi, make sure Wi-Fi is enabled and select the network you want to connect to. Then enter its password and click on connect. Now let's go to the next step which is checking for updates. So system and updates, software update and here it'll check for updates. Updating your system is really important because um, it makes sure your phone is secure and also not only that but um, gives you the newest features and ensures your phone runs smoothly. Now let's go with the next step, which is um, logging into Google. If you haven't done that yet, go to Google. Of course, then th that step can be skipped, but I recommend logging in because it may be important for further steps. So not to Google, sorry, to accounts. Then add account if you don't have any Google account listed in the personal ones and go to Google. Now we'll just log in. First enter your email. If you don't have an account you can create it here. Then you'll need to enter the password as well. And click on next. Then choose who will be using this device and click on next. Then you need to agree to the Google Terms of Service because without it you will not be able to add the Google account. Then you can select whether or not you want to back up your device data and if you don't want to lose your data then it's better to have that on. Now I'm gonna click on accept and you can see I have the Google account added so what we can do now is go to the Play Store and search for app updates because updating apps is important for the same reason as updating your phone but also some apps won't work without an update. So let's click on the profile icon in the top right corner, My Apps and Games, Updates and then I'm gonna click on Update All to update everything. And now as it's being updated Let's go to the settings and go to biometrics and password. It is important to keep your phone secure so no one else besides you has access to your phone and also if your phone gets lost or stolen it's harder to uh, later factory reset your phone and use it just like, like so. Mm, so it's better to have the lock screen I'm going to click on lock screen password first and here you can set a six digit pin or change the unlock method to four digit pin, custom pin, pattern or password. I'm going to set it to a pattern, then draw it. Now I need to redraw it and click on done. Then you can create a fingerprint. It is pretty secure and also really fast. So I recommend adding the fingerprint because it makes everything easier and also it makes it really secure. So I'm gonna click on add fingerprint then OK and now place your finger on the fingerprint sensor then release and do that multiple times. Remember to move your finger between your scans so it scans the whole area of your fingerprint and also with some screen protectors it might not work but there's a high chance of it working anyway because this is the light sensor not the ultrasonic sensor which makes it just more sensitive but a bit less secure but I haven't found it to be in to be not secure so let's click on OK I'm gonna cancel that for a moment because I need to explain something. So now we have the fingerprint added and then there's the face recognition which I don't personally recommend because it's not really secure 
uh, only basis on the camera. I know it looks like there is a, an IR sensor here, but it's honestly just the um, light sensor and the um, like the sensor that checks how far are you from the phone. So if the phone is near your ear, then it turns the screen off if you're on a call. So it's, there's no IR, IR sensor which would make it really secure for the face recognition and it only bases on the camera so it can be unlocked with a photo of you or by someone who looks similar but if you have a need of setting up the face recognition I'm gonna show you how to do it just in case so let's click on the face recognition then enter your screen lock and now click on get started then position your face within the frame The setup is now complete. I'm gonna change the unlock device to direct, a direct unlock. So after unlocking with my face, I don't have to um, slide up. And I'm gonna show you how to unlock your phone to with your phone with these three methods. So the first one is fingerprint. You can tap it just in the place of the sensor, even if the screen is off. Just tap it, and it'll work. But also, if the screen is on, it'll also work just fine like that then the face recognition you can just click on the power button look at your phone and it'll unlock it and the screen lock is swiping up entering your screen lock and that's how you do it so let's go to um, the next step which is uninstalling the bloatware because okay um, as you see here there is lots of bloatware, so bloatware are the apps that are unimportant, uh, like the games here or whatever. I'm gonna press and hold and click on uninstall. Of course, you can keep the apps that you want, but I don't recommend keeping the apps that you don't really need. So just press on uninstall, then OK. I'm gonna uninstall everything that can be uninstalled. So the apps that are not the system apps. Of course, you can keep like the TikTok or Facebook if you use it. But I'm going to uninstall it just so you know what can be uninstalled. OK, I think here is uninstall I've uninstalled everything. Here are the system apps and here also are the system apps, I think the Honor, Honor Docs can be uninstalled if you don't need them, but besides that there are system apps. And here are some Google apps, so they are also by Google. And now let's go to the next step, which is changing your wallpaper. Of course you can skip that, but there's a high chance of you wanting to change your wallpaper. I'm gonna take a photo now, but you can also, mm, if you've transferred your photos from your old phone, then you can just use them from your gallery. I'm going to show you later how to set, set from your gallery. And also you can just download a photo from the internet. Um, but let's go here. You can see the photo is taken. And now what we need to do is go to the settings. And in the settings, go to home screen and style. Then. Here we should be able to click on select wallpaper. Uh, agree. And now you can select the official wallpapers, click on more to download more, or go to the to the gallery, which is the most probable. I'm gonna set this photo. It's not the best, but this is how it looks. Now let's see if we can just the photo, okay. Mm, I don't think so. Okay, now I can click on it and then I can drag the photo or pinch it. Let's set it like that. It's not the best photo of mine. Mm, you can also blur that wallpaper. But actually, I'm gonna unblur it. Turn, turn the blur off, actually. And you can also click on pair. So it'll copy from your lock screen. You can go to the lock screen and here you can also change the lock screen style. I'm gonna set that 
the same photo, but of course you can set something else. I can also adjust it, and adjust it like that. And these are my lock and home screen wallpapers. It's pretty laggy here, but okay, it's all fine. I'm gonna click on done, and now it'll be set. Okay, I think I'm set. So this is my home and lock screen. And now we can go to um, the next step, which is Play Store and downloading some important apps that you use. So just choose whatever you use on your phone, like the Netflix, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you need. I'm going to uh, download a different browser because I'm going to need that for the next step. Just download the browser that you want or just app that you want. There are multiple apps that you may need, maybe some games as well. Also, I'll see if there is the mm, Google Wallet app. It's not. So I'm gonna also search for Google Wallet because it will also be needed for my next step. Of course, as I in a moment explain why I'm installing it, you can decide on your own whether or not you want to get the Google Wallet but now let's see if the apps are installed now. Okay, so the Firefox is now installing. So as it's being done, let's go to the further step. Mm. Which is... Mm, disabling that screen you can see. Of course you can leave it, but I personally don't like this screen, so if you don't like it too, just pinch it in, pinch your home screen in, then go to home screen settings, and disable Google Discover. It is all up to you. If you like having the news here, then you can leave them, of course. Also, I'm gonna disable the AI suggestions. You can leave them, but honestly, I don't like them. I'm gonna remove them. Personalize your phone however you want it because it's your phone and you can do whatever you want with it So now I'm just gonna wait until it gets installed and as it's being done Let's go to the settings and go to battery Now uh, I recommend going to the See here no mm. Making sure that smart charge is enabled because it's pretty important. And also the older battery settings like this one is pretty great. Um, but the stay connected while asleep, it's up to you. If the screen turns off and that is enabled, then you'll still be connected to the internet. And if you disable that, then whenever your screen turns off, you'll be disconnected, but that, they will, that will mean that you won't receive notifications from apps that, ha that require internet. So it is all just up to you. Then the battery percentage, I'm gonna set it to inside because I like it that way. And now let's see if the apps are finally installed. The Firefox is, but the Google Wallet isn't yet. Mm, that's mm, taking so long not because the phone takes so long to install, but the other apps are updating right now. I'm gonna just check. Um, okay, so only two apps are about to get installed, so let's wait. I'm just gonna go to the settings and here. There's no notification about finishing set it, uh, setting up your phone. That's pretty great because I don't really like this notification. Uh, since um, on many f Android phones, there is a notification about finishing setting up your phone after you set it up. And it basically just asks the same question, questions that have been asked while setting up your phone. 
so it's pretty inconvenient and and annoying. Okay, I think that a Google Wallet was installed. Yes, and now I'm gonna explain why. Uh, the Google Wallet allows you to add um, your, uh, just add your uh, payment card to use your phone later for contactless payments. And of course, it's up to you if you don't feel feel comfortable or just don't want to add your phone, your payment card to the phone. You don't have to do it, but in case you want it, you can just go to the wallet. Then wait a second. Allow notifications, and now you can click on Add to Wallet. Then click on Payment Card, and here you can either scan the photo of your uh, payment card or enter details manually. Just enter the details from your card, then scroll down and click on Save and Continue. Then you may need to confirm that card with your bank via SMS, phone call, or a bank app. And after that, the card will be added and whenever you open uh, the Google Wallet, just like open the app, you will be able to pay with your phone in stores. I'm gonna see if there is an option to add the um, Google Wallet to the control center as you slide down from the right top part. So click on the edit button. Then I have this button available, which is the wallet. I'm gonna click on done. And now as I click on that, it opens the wallet pretty quickly so I can easily access that even if I just don't have um, the wallet, like don't, I don't need to search for it on the screen. And now uh, let's go to the last step, which is changing your default apps. And it is all up to you. But in case you want to, you can just go to apps, then go to default apps, and now select the wallet app to your Google wallet if you want to use that. Then the browser can be also changed to something else that you have downloaded. And you can also do that for all of the other apps um, that you may need. And I think that's all that I wanted to show you. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.